In this video, I will start explaining the account determination for sales and distribution in SAP S4HANA. So we will go through the system. I will show you how the account determination works. And then we will go into the configuration steps needed to configure the account determination. I'm not sure if I will be able to cover all of this in a single video because sales and distribution configuration can be actually a little complicated and hard to follow. So I will try my best to simplify the concept and to not overload you with a lot of information in a single video. So it all depends. I will see after I finish recording if I will post it in one video or in more than one. But anyway, when I publish the video, you can always check the video chapters in the description to know exactly what was explained in the video. And also you can click on the link to go directly to the point you are interested in as usual. Let's start by going into the sales order I created when I did the order to cash demo. I will leave you a link to the video here if you didn't see it. So we did a sales order and then we posted a goods issue and we posted a billing document. Let's have a look on the billing document for the sales order and see how the account determination happened. To display a sales order, the transaction is VA03. And this is our order number. And then I will go into the document flow and click on invoice then click on display document this is our billing document and this is where the account determination for billing happens how can we understand the account determination you can go to environment account determination analysis revenue accounts this will explain how the accounts were determined for the sales revenue and for any sales condition, such as rebates or any sales discounts. Now I will explain this screen in details. So this is the screen used by the end users to understand how the account was determined. After this, I will go into the back end and show you how to change the configuration to impact this screen. So we start by checking the account determination procedure. This one is KOFI00. This is what we are going to configure. And then inside, we have the different conditions that will require account determination. And in our example, we only had the price. We don't have any sales discounts or any rebates. So we only have the price condition and the price condition will determine the sales revenue account. So if we open this condition, we find 010 and 020. This is what we call a condition table. Now, the thing you need to understand about sales and distribution is it is a very flexible module. And with this flexibility comes some complication in the configuration. What I mean by flexible is we can decide that we want to maintain the accounts, the financial account based on multiple criteria. So for example, we can say that any sales process that happen from our company code will have the same GL account for sales revenue. Or we can say that the sales account will change based on the customer or it will change based on the material or it will change based on the sales organization, or it will change based on many other available fields. So the first step we do when we decide to configure the account determination for sales is we ask ourselves the question, on which level do we want the account to be determined? Do we need one account for all the company code or do we want different accounts based on different criteria? And based on this, we start by defining the fields that we want to use in account determination. After we define the fields, we assign them to what we call a condition table. Now, when we assign them to condition table, we assign them to multiple condition tables. For example, you can say that I will maintain my configuration, my account determination based on material plus customer plus sales organization. So if we have a certain material with a certain customer, with a certain sales organization, it will have this account. But if we change the customer or change the material, for example, it will have a different account. And this is level number one. But if we don't maintain any GL account on this combination or if something is missing in the financial entry or in the sales order, so SAP couldn't determine the material group or the customer group, then we have a second level. So we will maintain the GL account on the level of the customer and the sales organization only. And if SAP cannot find anything in this combination also, then we want to determine the account based on the sales organization only. So SAP will access the condition tables in the sequence we determine. It will go look into the more detailed one 
and then if it doesn't find anything it will go to the less detailed one and if it doesn't find anything it will go to the more less detailed one and so on until it checks all the condition tables we have in our account determination procedure so first we determine the fields we want to maintain the accounts on second we maintain these fields or we combine them in condition tables third we define the access sequence we tell SAP which table it should check first and which table is next and so on so SAP will follow this sequence when it checks the different tables and then we assign all of this to the account determination procedure and the account determination procedure is what you have here which is assigned to the billing type so the billing type when we create a billing document it will have a billing type similar to the document type in finance and this billing type will call the account determination procedure the procedure will call the access sequence and the tables and this AP will go into them so what happened here is we have this account determination procedure based on it SAP knows that we have the access sequence to check these condition tables so it has two tables here now let's look on what happened SAP tried to check the first one 010 if you double click here it tried to check the account determination maintained based on the customer group material group and the account key so as you see here we have the account assignment group for customer account assignment group for material and the account key we are missing one value SAP couldn't determine the account assignment group for the material the account assignment group for the material and the account assignment group for customer are values maintained in the master and the in the master data for the materials and the customers that are freely definable so we define two digits like 0, 01 0, 02 0, 03 for the customer groups and we assign them in the customer master data and the same for the material we can create 0, 01 0, 02 0, 03 different groups and we assign them into the material master data and then we assign these numbers to GL accounts in the account determination we can use them or we can decide to use other fields as I explained it is very flexible so in our configuration here we asked SAP to check the account determination based on the account key account assignment group for the material account assignment group for the customer sales organization and short account now SAP determined all of these except it couldn't find an account assignment group maintained in the material master data so there is no account assignment group for the material it means that this table is cancelled now we cannot determine the account determination based on it so SAP moved to the next level in the next level or the next condition table in the next condition table we have account determination based on customer group account key but without material uh, material group and now all of these values are available so we have the chart of account says organization account assignment group for the customer and account key so SAP was able to determine the GL account for the revenue based on this combination and the GL account is this one 800,000 so now we understand how SAP determined the sales revenue GL account in our financial entry now let's go into the configuration and see how we can configure all of this i hope you found this video useful if you would like to see more videos like this don't forget to subscribe to the channel also leave me your comments thank you for watching and i'll see you again soon